Hey everyone, it's Colonel Snot, and last episode we met the Theta General, killed him, and uh, yeah, here we now. We moved one Gargo statue already, but uh, here we are, we're gonna be about to meet Samael, so I am going to turn up the volume and let you guys enjoy. So, enjoy. <laughs> story achievement we just got so and shadow flight our first ability and actually I know it's tempting chasm jumper yeah because it's shadow flight um no it's tempting but not go over and jump over to Bulgrim quite yet uh quickly go back because we just got one ability to get something we missed a second ago so or two episodes ago I think right there those are uh like air pockets airwaves that you use shadow flight to quickly fly or quickly and easily fly over those little chasms so that's quite important <laughs> and I'll we'll take out this guy right here for some more souls most things I'm just pissed off at him whoa you're not hitting me smack to the floor wow that was pretty lame anyway Move on through. I like using the dash right there to open the doors because you don't have to, you know, recover. You can just press B during your recovery and you'll open the door, so. A little tidbit. Grab you and smack you to the floor. Alright, uh, oh yeah, it's the other side. Okay. So, jump up here. Environmental kill, or two, or three, or four even, well, if I get, I don't know. yeah, four, alright, jump up onto here, Just smack it around, alright, now we can get our second artifact right here, using Shadow Flight, Dun 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 dun! Soldier artifact. That's 500 souls worth. Alright. Now let's head on back. And that little shortcut I mentioned hopping over will, will save you a little bit of time if you haven't figured it out. And I actually did it until a little while into the game, which really pissed me off. But, uh, anyway, minor detail. Get another environmental kill here. See if I can aim. Ah, oh, damn pillar. Probably should see that coming. Whatever. Anywho, let us continue. D 
do do do. And uh, again, I don't really like doing that dash thing because I don't feel like it's that much faster, that much worthwhile, and the sound just really pisses me off for some reason. So I choose not to do it. Now, with Shadow Flight, we can hop on over here. That saves us some time to get to Vulgrim after all of the times we'll be talking to Samael, which is quite a few. And first time we got a Vulgrim, oh, the second time we got a Vulgrim location. And. Yeah, whatever. And uh, here's another soul chest, and we're about to get our first, our first, our first, our first wrath shard. Duck, 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 duck. Uh, quick and easy. Up on down here. All right, same thing. I think from L. So now I would recommend you get the demon edge flip saw, and we can't get the yeah we don't have the counter yet so trade in artifacts. Alright, we get the flip saw and the uh, demon edge. Demon edge is the one that flips them up, which helps a lot. And, um, that and the sword uppercut. Okay, so uh, that cut should have been too bad in post, but we'll see what it looks like. But anyway, um, alright, so the flip saw and the demon edge are a great combo because demon edge can uh, kick them up and then you can kick them down with the flip saw, like so. And you'll do a frickin' load amount of damage, and you'll be using that you know, combo over and over and over again, trust me. But, uh, I'll leave those guys. And, um, yeah, you can never use it too much. So, we're just gonna get some environmental damage with these guys. And don't you even think about hurting me. Smack and throw. Haha, you die. Fly over the edge. Ho <laughs> ho ho. Anyway. Um I go with the fly these glide pockets so you just fly on up. Let's see if I can avoid this guy. Alright. Oh man, okay. That does a crap load of damage. You do not want to get hit by those swipes. Or not as much as I thought. Huh. <laughs> anyway. Um a little blade guys are damaged there. So any cars around here? Oh, it's a sign. Let's see what the sign does. Not too much. For some reason I'm not surprised. Anyway, uh, look. oh yeah, there's the explosion. He's dead. All right. So I think that's enough for tonight. Um, next episode, we will get to the uh, what is it? The choking grounds, and we will do quite a bit there. So. Thanks for watching and stay tuned.